Hello, good morning, dear friends. So I, I would like to do a blah blah blah. Well, let me first finish my job. So hello dear friends, this video is uh, it's not on demand, I just make this video, made this up. And uh, yesterday there was one friend asking, asking to show the, to show the makeup collection. So I have a very, very, very limited, simple makeup collection, a very humble makeup collection very sorry looking makeup collection. So I think uh, I am one of the poised in makeup collection. And the point is that um, when you are rich, you do not need to have too much makeup to add up those richness because you are already rich. And today I found nothing to say. And uh, 
I did not get people asking uh, Hain make up a video and Hain make a video for us. There is a question or something. So this video is just for, let me finish my blowing, blow it. I think uh, the problem is that I blow it. So I just blow it. So let me try to continue with this one. So when we are not wanted, it's a very sad thing. And for whatever reason, um, we are not wanted. We are not, not wanted on the internet. We are not wanted to, um, on, on, on our workplace, or we are wanted in our family. It's not because we are not wanted. It's because we are not asked. People are too shy to ask for help. And uh, so often time, I always say, I always feel that uh, people asking help from me is actually an honor to, for me because you are wanted. And uh, if we are not wanted, we feel sad, we feel lost. So it is important that we find something that uh, we are wanted, we are useful for, and we have something we can share, we can offer. If we cannot offer that, everyone, it's not because some people are selfish, do not want to like to offer. I think offering help, offering your specialty, no matter in the way of show off or in the way of just humbling, offering help. Just offering and sharing yourself, sharing something that, uh, that you, can, you, can, you can contribute to other people, to the society, to other people, to the community, is a great honor. And uh, it, the feeling of offering, of contributing, make us happy and make us, uh, make us in a, in a very, um, very happy spirit. And uh, yeah, there are so many things I want to say. Let me keep on this point. And um, there is this uh, empty nest syndrome when our children are young, they need us, and uh, our life is surrounding them, taking them to soccer, taking them to to different classes, and uh, no matter piano class, math class, training, or, or game, or whatever, uh, we are needed every time. It's kind of a burden, it's not really a burden, it's kind of a, a responsibility, it's kind of a uh, make us busy, but makes uh, make our feel life fulfilled and uh, make our life uh, busy. So we forget about the emptiness and uh, loneliness. And then children grown up, we feel that we are no longer wanted. We are no longer needed. 
and uh, I have not yet reached to that stage. Uh, I know one day my children will grow up and uh, see what will happen. And sometimes, I, actually, I enjoy a few moments of quiet time. We all enjoy this quiet time. When we have them in our hands, we are busy every day. We want this quiet time. And when we no longer have them around us, then we want to have this busy time back again. And also, in workplace, make an offer, offering to help, offering to to do something, ask for people to give you a job to do is uh, is a great honor. It's really make us very much uh, uh, happy. So in the street, so do not complain because uh, complain does not bring up a happy spirit. Try to do something, bring up happy spirit and bring up good spirit. Go to help others and give people a smile instead of uh, of saying people not good. People are all have different opinion, different uh, value. So do not judge other people. Do not judge other people. If people judge us, we we are also at. Um, at a lot of uh, flaws comparing to their level of, uh, of, uh, of value, comparing to their value. And uh, just let it, uh, let it be that way and accept that uh, people are different. And just a couple of days ago, I saw the, the, the news. I got all my news on, online. There was people who were doing makeup and not makeup, um, cosmetic surgery, and went wrong. And uh, so every time we went to the grocery store, we saw those. And I have never thought about it actually. And uh, I have never thought about how mean I, I, I was, I am. I saw those cosmetic surgery went wrong. I just saw, oh, they deserve it, or something went wrong. Why do they want it? But uh, just imagine looking, searching for the best of us is the nature of our human being. No matter you dye your hair, or you, no matter you do your makeup. It's just one step of making yourself better, making yourself feel at least better for yourself. And sometimes we are misled, misguided by our own sense, actually. It's by our own sense. I remember there was one thing when, my, um, when I was getting so angry and uh, I just want to suicide. I feel there's no hope, and uh, and just and I got into that narrow alley, narrow channel. I just cannot get out. And then I talk to my friends and uh, come back another day. Things changed, and then I uh, I felt better, and things changed. So so often time when we are alone and we think about something, we get ourselves and penetrated into a very, very, very deep and narrow point that we cannot, uh, we cannot think otherwise. And we blind ourselves, we block ourselves, and it's very dangerous. So avoid those things happen. Open up yourself. And also another one day, I was driving, sending my boy to soccer training, and uh, we were always late. And the other day, that day, I made so much effort. Just want to, I, I, I made so much effort. You, you know that feeling, you made so much effort, and then at the end, you still were late. That really bad feeling, so all the good efforts was lost. So that day, I. I made so much effort and uh, driving almost the pressure on myself. And then my boy sit on the back and said, 
relax. You know the best soccer players. They relax. What makes them different is that they are relaxing. They are relaxed. And they are relaxed, so at the very end point, they can get that kick out. And, and they are at the best of themselves. So immediately, I cool down. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, you have to be cool. You have to cool down yourself to make rational thinking, to make logical thinking. When you are so much confined yourself in your own thought, in your own thoughts, you cannot open up yourself. You cannot make right decision. And it is dangerous to make wrong decision. And uh, it, is, it is just not rational. It may end up a small mistake or end up a, mis a big mistake that you will always regret. So let's talk about back about uh, those cosmetic surgery. So we we saw people making so much, but just imagine on their stand, they have so much pressure. They have the pressure to look young, to look rich. This is why Silicon Valley there are so many young men. I heard the news. I did not know. Um, people making cosmetic surgery and uh, it's just one step from our normal making up and if we keep on thinking narrowly 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 we will be living in a dark circle surrounded created that dark black atmosphere created by our own self. So open up ourselves. When we think about something, we can think deep, but make sure you talk to other people, you retract yourself and uh, Challenge yourself, challenge that thought. Think again. And uh, you may have a better, wiser decision after you think the things again. Think it differently. And uh, we are so far away from the original thought. The original thought is makeup. So don't be ashamed of making makeup, but also make sure the makeup does not go too far, does not go wrong. And uh, there's no perfection. There's no perfection. This one, there's no perfection. This is why people do these things to try to make perfection. But at this, at this very moment, at this very place, everything just fall into place and it is just right. Be the way you are be whoever you are and like it, love it, cherish it, hold it and live with it. Bye bye, see you later. Alligator.